Oh, <clears throat> oh we've made it. We've made it. Ah, oh, I was just about to post up saying if anybody wants me, I'll be having an anti-stress injection somewhere. That's quite topical, isn't it? Oh, guys, thank you so much for bearing with us. I'm sorry, we are officially nine and a half minutes late, but we had a problem with the chest cam cable. But sorry. AD successfully diagnosed what the issue was, and then we've had to scramble finding an adapter and plug everything back in until the orange light goes on, and then boom, suddenly we've got a chest cam. So thankfully, here we are. Right. I think we're about ready to get going. Yes. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Nothing else happens. AD, if you're ready, roll VT. Hello, how are we all doing? We're in such a we're in such a, a, a rush here. Look, I haven't even wiped my helmet yet. No wonder I'm frosting up. Goodness me! Right, good evening. How how are we all? Are we all okay? Great to see you, my lovely friends of Instagram. Sorry, we're all a little bit late. Right, we can officially say hello to each other now. Right, fantastic. Look, there we go. We're in battle dress and ready to commence. Oh yes! And what a night we've got in store for you, ladies and gents. Can't wait to get going. Okay, <clears throat> let's first of all. Let's do a camera check, make sure everything's all right. Obviously, corner cam, we know everything's fabulous and fantastic, superb. Right, <coughs> excuse me. Let's go to the other one, PTZ. Let's go over here, shall we? Ta-da! Looking good. Let's go, buddy, to overhead. Overhead, yes. Overhead. We are working and great. Actually, I've got to tell you, AD's done something to all three cameras this week, which is what I wanted to do for about six months. I got something to work about the starting position. So anyway, well done, mate. We cracked it. And finally. <laughs> so finally, we've got wireless chest cam up and running, which to be fair, hasn't hasn't really given us so get up, shall I? Hasn't really given us some, any problems for quite a while and yet tonight, typically. The one that gives us the problems. Okay. Dude, if we can whiz on to chest cam for a back onto chest cam for a second. Now, let me show you, let me walk you through what's going on. Insta. Uh, you can see the giant one here. I'll probably show you this one as well in it as we go out through the evening. Right. Look at this. Oh wow. What an absolute complete rainbow of colour we've got going on here. Now the reason, the reason why I'm bringing you over here is because this is the size we're going to be working on this evening and we're going to be working in the same colour palette. Ooh, so that we, uh, thankfully we had an ooh, I can't wait to get going. And here we go, over onto the canvas we're going to be using tonight everyone. So there we can say yes, that's, that's essentially the colours, but now we're going to recreate some, you know, different style over on this one this evening so that's what we're going to do we've got 180 centimeters square for the technical amongst you which will have a finished size of 160 square allowing for it to go around the corners make sense fantastic right then instagram let's move you guys over rochelle says her cheesy chips were getting cold never mind thank you for bearing with us let's move you on here toby so crisis has joined it's nice he comes here every week uh, Stephanie Schilling and Creative Soul Elements fan Vandershot. What did you just ask? Is it art or sci-fi? Well, who knows? <laughs> anyway, bit of both, eh? Okay? Shall we let's do a quick shout out over on YouTube and see who we've got in tonight. Let's go from the top, my friends. Here we go. We've got Suarez is in the house. All that that bald fella. <laughs> Jeff Jenkins. Oh, is that the Oak Park Art League? We'll watch you create new works today and excited to see the art. Me too, Jeffrey, and thanks and a big shout out to everyone at the Oak Park Art League. How fantastic is that? Uh, Ian Jones is having his dinner at work. Excellent. Nancy Stone and uh, 2610 is here. Oh, it's 3.28 a.m. 
and watching on the stream anyway well that's commitment for you thank you very much nana may is holding up a lighter andy hill is giving us a wave and so is the rita and uh just say nancy stone buddy you're here thank you what else have we got we have got funny fox has just joined us hello funny fox and hello zane good day from new zealand oh yeah uh who else have we got here yeah, devanda studios has just joined us thank you very much everybody's in the house nelson good evening great to see you sandy m is also here kelly karashoka is also here oh this is great fantastic oh hello Yakov. hello everyone what a great name thank you for joining us Ragura Mena. hi watching from kenya fantastic and the stupendium is here hello greg I'll tell you everybody now, Stupendium is, um, you should go watch him on YouTube. He does the most amazing music videos and animations you've ever seen in your life. And he is watching us live this evening. Hello, Greg. Thank you so much for watching. Who else have we got? Uh, I think we've done it, haven't we? If I've missed you, please do let me know. But right now, guys, we're going to crack on. We're going to get some stuff done. Instagram, I hope you're holding on to your dangly bits because we're about to go. Right then, my friends. Now, Aid is going to pop the extractor on is going to count us down and for the for those of you who have watched this before you all know the score by now my voice might just disappear so uh we'll get the extractor on then i'm deaf i'm literally there's a 100 decibel extractor going on not that you're going to hear it but i will okay right he's going to count us in yes three two one and the extractor is on let's see if you can still hear me hopefully you can <laughs> i've got an itch on my nose now Right, let's get some gloves. Right, let's see. I'm going to keep talking. Can he hear me? Can he hear me? He can hear me! Woo -hoo -hoo! Awesome! Yay! It's a, yay! It's a good job I didn't say anything I shouldn't have done. Right. <laughs> no effing and blinding, please. That's right. Okay. Uh, so, who else? Have, oh, this is great, great. Very exciting. Who's just joined us? Elizabeth Navarro Martinez. Hello from what from White Tiger, all the way from California. Our BW is finally catching a live stream. Fantastic. Awesome. Everybody in the house? This is so cool. Right then. Uh, uh, okay. Let's not just forget as we uh, as we start putting some paint on, folks. The uh, the man outside who makes it all happen, out in control. We don't have a camera on the poor man. It's, he's probably very relieved by that. But can we just say a big hello and a big thank you to AD for always sorting us out with such an epic live stream every week. We're always very grateful. Thank you, buddy, for uh, bearing through the stress. Yeah, apologies for that, guys. Hang on. Uh, hang oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, voice wise, yeah, I've got to uh, take my headset off, otherwise, I can hear myself echoing. Anyway, I apologize. The problem we have is that, as you guys know, that are regular here, we have four cameras running on this system, probably, and I'm going to say this, the only art show where there's four cameras running. One of those happens to be attached to Ed. Now, when Ed bends down, bends over, he's working on the paintings, things like that, there's a massive strain on that micro uh, HDMI connector that goes to the sender unit. And unfortunately, at some point that's been damaged. I had to scramble around, find an alternative, which happened to be two connectors that I had to put together to make it work. I will order two, I think, for next time, just in case. Uh, but yes, that was the problem. We couldn't find out why the signal wasn't getting from the camera to the sender unit, from the sender unit to me. But we now have it fixed and we're back on track. Awesome. Thanks, buddy. That's a great explanation. Uh, right, okay, are we up for some painting then? Should we do some painting? I think we should do some painting, don't you? Yay! Right, so, one of the... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Peter Griffin. One of the interesting camera angles that we have here is when AD twists the overhead cam with this kind of like, ooh, like makes me all distorted and like I'm stood on the side of the building. So he's going to probably have a little look at that now and come round with the overhead while I mix some paints. So... And we're going to start off probably with my most favourite colour paint of them all. Let's see, Instagram. Is there a better one than Suarez Blue? I don't think there is. It's epic. We might probably go on to Corner Cam if we speak to AD nicely. Sorry, Corner. On to uh, Chess Cam. And watch me scoot that bad boy up. Look. That is just liquid art in a can. Nice. So... 
Yeah, it is super nice. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get some of that out of the can. Super expensive, this three figures you know, just for a can of paint. Right, so there we go. So now on that funny angle that Aidy can see, so there's my blue, because that's where we're going to start. We've got a little bit of my super special mix that I can't tell you about. Just a little compound that has to go into the paints. Right, let's mix the blue out. We're going to get the blue on and uh, we are going to get going. So there we are on chest cam. Let's come over to some lights on the chest cam. Let's come this way, shall we? Uh, right, can we see? Can we just see how absolutely incredible this is? I hope you can. Stiff, maybe I'm in the wrong angle. There we are. I'll try it that way. Can we see that? Isn't that nice? It's um, sparkly. If that was an ice cream, that literally would be dribbling down my face now. Okay, right, so there is the blue. We're going to get a few other colours out because this is all about bright and happy. Oh, who's to ask a question? YG says, what type of paint is this, guys? This is enamel paint. Uh, while I get the next one out, which is going to be a bright, vivid pink, I can tell you, thank you for asking the question, because we love getting asked questions here, that enamel paints are extremely toxic, unless you have the water-based ones. And these aren't. These are the oil-based ones. And that's the reason why I have to dress up like a uh, rather interesting spaceman kind of thing because i'm wearing breathing apparatus and that stops me well basically dying the uh, toxins that come off this are really not very pleasant at all so i have to wear breathing apparatus in this controlled environment just to make sure that i'm still here in a week's time hope that answers your question you can of course learn more about the enamel paints uh, by a visit to my site which is suarez.co.uk and if you uh, head to the gallery tab hover down you'll see a page all about the enamel paints and i'm sure we could even talk nicely to ad in there if he if he can view it up <laughs> he um we might even be able to show you the web page later so uh, there you go yes already showing it so that's all about the enamel paints do go and have a read guys because it's very very interesting and i'm updating it uh, all the time because at the actual crux of what goes on here is the paint this is what we do right instagram let's move you guys over ken is here the countryside studio is here tina and elisa linson is here and w michael art is here hi guys thank you so much thank you for joining us all right let's go oh bert and ernie, bert and ernie is here as well fantastic okay uh you're welcome yg thank you very much and yes ad was just giving you a close-up of the painting i did a little bit earlier in the week did give us one or two light issues. I had to work very hard trying to uh, figure out some things on it, but what we created I think is pretty special. It looks amazing. So uh, yeah, very, very happy to uh, stick that one uh, around its frame and get that stapled at some point. Okay, fantastico. So we're, here we are, guys. We're just lining our paints up. Hopefully get a good view of the colours that we're going to use. Now we are going to be using gold again tonight. There's one colour I still haven't got in there. And uh, that's going to be our purple. Uh, beautiful purple. This, if I can just find the can. Purple. Purple. <laughs> purple. That, that's from our purple lover. Uh, no prizes for guessing who that is. So if I can just find the purple, I mean, that would obviously save us from all falling asleep. Come on, Ed. Anytime you're ready. Right. Well, in that case. Sorry. Uh, uh, I borrowed it. Uh, you've had it, have you? What have you been? I painted my toilet. <laughs> oh bless him actually i'll tell you i'll tell you a quick 10 second funny story when we were out with a client this week and uh, by the way guys if you do want to see what we get up to on a weekly basis make sure uh later on before you disappear off the channel that you uh, uh you go watch a couple of our weekly vlogs now we have got another one hopefully coming out uh very very soon i hope this weekend if we can sort a few things out uh but we we're in a client's or on our way to a client's the other day and I think a purple car went past us. Obviously had a wrap on it. And uh, AD nearly jumped out of his seat because this colour purple, I probably think, is the most amazing colour purple he'd ever seen. It was uh, quite oh, amusing. It was nice. It was. It was I, nice. Even I'll say it was nice. My very, very nice. And my favourite colour is orange, as you know. Right. Okay. Happy days. So, we're shortly going to be uh, on the overhead cam. I would imagine at some point because we're going to then start looking at what we're going to actually put 
onto the canvas. So now we've got our paints mixed, everyone. And we've said hello, and we know what's happening, and we've got a few questions answered. Now, Ada's having a look at the paint pots now on the overhead. Sorry, on the PCZ. Right, okay, are we ready? Oh, Dana Butler has just joined. Late to the party, back of the class. Go and do your lines. I'm only joking, Dana. It's lovely to see you. Right, Insta, how are we doing? We're fantastic. Uh, okay, CKC underscore lawyers. Hello. No idea how I add you to the video, but one day I'm sure I'll be able to sort that out. Okay, let me... Let me introduce you to my little friends. These are a couple of the tools we're going to be using this evening. Right, let's pop that one down there just for a moment. And we're going to use this one. And I'm just going to give it a little scrape off. I love my window squeegees. They're awesome. They're fantastic and I think they're brilliant. Now, I'm also going to be using another favourite of mine which you should have hopefully have seen at some point. So let's pop that one down there. Because we're almost ready to start getting the paint on. Which camera are we on, buddy? Ooh, pick a card, any card. <laughs> it's a blend of three types of the finest coffee beans. These are grout spreaders. Look, so we're going to be using those. I'm probably going to end up using all three of those. So let's get those on as well. If I put them on the floor floor, I'm never going to find them because they're quite dark. Right. Uh, oh, yeah. What's your card? The black of black. <laughs> it was the black of black. How did you know? I'm yes. a magician. You are a magician, yeah. Yeah, you regularly make things disappear. Right, okay. So, here we go. Right, which colour shall we start with first? I think we're going to start with some purple. Shall we start with some purple, mate? Oh, yes. Mm. Oh, oh, yes. I'll be ready. Yes, let's, let's get on with the purple, right. Okay, fantastic. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start kind of layering our colours. All will become clear as we start to move them around, okay? Now, these aren't going to be the same, even though they are produced with the same colours. But there is, there is a certain structure that I'm kind of loosely going to work with. But I'm going to try and use three different kinds of tools with this one. So we've investigated the first two, which is Squeegee, followed by Grout Spreader which is great. And the third one, I know I could barely, barely come around to saying this. Might be, I've got to show you, you'll never guess in a million years. Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> which camera, dude? Paintbrushes! <laughs> How old school is that? Yeah, we're going to get down and dirty with paintbrushes, so I'm going to just get myself one of Say those. <laughs> right, okay, so here we go. Just having a thin line there. I need to get some silver in because one of the things I absolutely love when I stick black and purple on is the interaction of silver. So I'm just going to get silver. Now this silver is quite uh, gluggy, so which is great because I wanted to maintain its structure. The thing of beauty this is, and I just want to get a little drop over here because this is where we're going to start. Okay. Now, friends of Instagram, I'm going to start moving this around now, and I see if I can get you guys down a little bit on the tripod just so you can see what's going on. Right, so let's drop you down a leg. Happy days. And let's point you a little bit further down. Whoop, other way. Happy days. Right, let's have a look at that. So, first thing we're going in with, my antennas are falling off, it's not a good sign. We're going in with the grout spreaders. Just keep my eye on that. And let's start in this corner. Okay, so let's just get a little now, I realise, I think Ada's just trying to get the camera to focus in a little bit. It'll all be worth it, don't we? There we go. I can hear him in my ear saying, come on, focus, focus. <laughs> okay, brilliant. So we're just going to get the silver moved around. Now, what's particularly awesome about this combo is the way that the black mixes in with the silver, which I absolutely love. Now, look, we're just going to delicately kind of bring in a little bit of the feature of the purple. There we go. So we'll bring the purple in. And we're just going to feather this nicely. I actually want it to not sort of disappear too much. There we go. I'm just going to take it that way. And then I'm going to go in there with the next colours. All right, because that's all I want to move around in this corner. Gradually, we're going to build this up. Now, 
Here's another set of colours that works so, so well together. And I'm going to bring in my favourite colour, yes, as he stands right in the centre of the canvas. Let's get that orange. We're going to go for a small sliver of orange. And I want this quite concentrated because I'm going to start manoeuvring it. And it's kind of going to go this way. All right. So I'm going to actually leave that pot on there. And then I want to introduce you to another complete and utter amazing colour. Wow, again, of one of my absolute favourites. He said just trying to find it on the desk. Yes, got it. This is brand new, guys. Haven't opened it. Here we go. Oh, I'm, I'm super, super excited now. Can you tell? Let's get the lid off that. Let's give it a bit of a shimmy. That's my workout for the day. That's my shimmy. Did you like my shimmy there, mate? Did you like it? <laughs> I've been practicing that. Now, that's interesting. That's very interesting. This is... Uh, <laughs> I think they've labelled it wrong. Oh, no. This is live on camera, guys. They've given me the wrong paint. Oh. This is... No. No, misses. What's happening? No, they've given me the wrong one. Oh, no. That should be green. Look. Bird day. That, that's not green, is it? Oh, well, that's scuppered my plans. Right. Okay. Plan B, then. Do I have a plan B? I guess I do now. Right. I'll, I better resort to plan B. Right, let me just explain. That... Oh, this is going well, isn't it? That should be Piaggio Verde, which is scooter green to you and me, like the Piaggio scooters. Sadly, the paint supplier has given me metallic blue instead, which is mildly concerning. Still. Hmm. Okay, not to worry. Really, what we're going to do, I'm going to kind of do a little bit of a hybrid now, so I'm mixing this sky blue with almost duck egg blue but it's not going to give the same effect but that's fine i'm going to mix this now and i'm going to bring the green in i'm going to mix this green with kind of whatever you'd call that it's called water blue actually it looks more green to me but hey you know not what i want uh oh but it's a nice color says the reader. thank you very much uh good okay feel free guys to ask all your questions by the way please if you've got things to ask uh We'll have I've a, got a question. Oh, he's got a question. Yes. Do I get paid? <laughs> Did you just say that on air? <laughs> yes. Paid? What, what does this pay you speak of? Look, I've, I've run out of oat. I need more oats. <laughs> I don't know. You have a sack to sleep in. Y yeah, but I what need more to eat. Oats? You don't need oats. Oh, I got hay. That's right. Sorry. You got hay. That's what you did. I remember you gave me hay last week. Yes. <laughs> Right, okay, it's quite close to the truth, actually. Never mind. Right. Mm. <laughs> He's probably thinking, hey, say what? Right, okay. So, I'm going to just lighten this blue. So, we're going into the blue corner now. And I'm going to get some blue over here. All will become clear because we're about to break out with the squeegee. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so thank you, Walter Revelator. That is a, a great uh, response. Yeah, check the blue tins to see if they're green. Considering I've just had a problem with the green tin, with, it's just got blue on it. Which I'm extremely annoyed about because I actually I brought that in as well to go on a client's painting, and now I, I can't do it. Never mind. Such is life. We're going in with the blue. Here goes the blue. So, Daisy, have you had to go? Well, thanks for joining us, Daisy. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. Hope to see you next week. Right, let's get this purple. Oh. Uh, so, Funny Fox is asking, how difficult is the enamel paint to wash off? Um, well, off your skin, not too bad, but then you have to use the thinners that you thin the paint with to get it off your skin. You know, so after a, a session in here, uh, I usually douse myself in thinners, which isn't the greatest smell in the world but it is surprisingly effective at getting rid of the paint. And then, uh, yes, it is very difficult to get off if you have to use thinners, yeah. If you want to get it off after anything when it's dried, you've got absolutely no chance. Because it literally sticks like something very sticky. 
<laughs> yes, Kelly, you're right. Judging by the floor, pretty impossible. You're right. <laughs> right. Okay, guys. So let me let me bring you into the heart of what's going on here. Let me kind of give you some idea about what we're doing here. So I want to start and introduce these kinds of colours now, sort of radiating from the corner. We've got this kind of silver mixed with that tiny bit of black, which we might do something with in a little while. This is all about just getting these gorgeous rich tones together. I love the way that orange, purple interact with each other. We can then look as we flatten out and use a slightly different hand technique on the spreader. We can start to bring in other featured tones over the top of it. Love this technique. I should use it a lot more and I don't. But you can be really precise, really controlled with the pressure you're putting on every single sweep that's underneath your fingertips, which I really like. And depending on how far you pull your hand, what kind of sweeps you do and where you want to take it, you can get some unbelievable effects. It also allows you to drag and pull paint wherever you want it. But at the moment, this is all about just getting, getting these gorgeous tiny little spirals sort of all working to each other before we kind of attack some of the bigger areas. Beautiful. That's lovely. Uh, yes, Funny Fox, it does get everywhere despite the gloves. You're right. Yeah, I've, uh, I regularly, sort of two or three days later, find my knees have got spots to paint on and things like that. So yeah, it pretty much pretty much does get everywhere. And again, that's why I, that's why I wear the clothes that I've got. Okay, marvellous. Right then, guys. Who's up for a drop of yellow? Who's up for a drop of gold? Hmm, let's see, shall we? Right, while you all tell me if that's something you'd like to see, let's uh, let's give you a reminder of why you're here this evening. Okay, you obviously love what we do because you're currently tuned in. What have we got now? 42 people watching, 19 likes. Guys, give us a thumbs up. Okay, hopefully you're enjoying what we're doing so far. So make sure you give us a good thumbs up. Thank you very much. And if you are new here, I know one or two of you this is the first time you've caught the live stream, so thank you for watching. Remember to give us a subscribe, because we've got so many things coming up through the pipeline. Oh, is the subscribe button not working, mate? Oh, that's unusual. I don't know why that is. Okay. Um, no. No, they should be read off. Uh, so I'm just talking to Radio about. No, they should be still be in uh, the Dropbox folder, mate. I think that's where they're read from. All we did was disconnect the drive, didn't we? And put it back in again. Oh, right. Hang on. Sorry. Something to Instagram. Sorry, guys. Right, and you're back. Sorry about that, Instagram. Right. Okay. Yes. But anyway, as I was saying, so we're back on overhead, are we, buddy? Okay, so yes, if you are new here, guys, don't forget to give us a subscribe and a thumbs up. And um, yeah, the other thing, uh, of course, is, uh, hey, you may or may not know, we do some amazing merch here. Yeah, it's true. Adrian's going to pop that up on the screen for you to have a little look at. So you can head over to teespring.com forward slash Suarez R. There will be a link down in the description. Guys, you can choose from maybe 80, 90 really cool things now featuring all of the artwork on all kinds of things like phone cases and and cushions and pillows and t-shirts and we've got some really cool mugs so yeah head over there uh, and go and have a browse around there's some fantastic stuff uh, we're just showing you that hopefully on the screen now and um, there is a link down in the description guys okay fantastic i might add i bought a couple of cushions off there the other day and actually we do we do keep some on the van ready to take out to show clients as well in their own homes. And it's surprising just how amazing they look. They really do look amazing. So yeah, yeah, go check it out, guys. Okay, so we've popped the yellow on. I just want to get myself a little sort of token of pink then on this area, just to sort of balance up the purple. Purple? Purple. Now, two, thing, two things I want to do with the gold. Okay, so I don't want to go too light in the middle here. So I'm going to do a little... Just a little bit of soup on the gold there. And importantly, I want to bring this line through the purple. Because those purple and gold tones, especially when they hit the blue, are going to look amazing. Okay. Right, so uh, let's move those around for a second. Yeah, sorry about that, uh, Insta. Let's move you guys over. I think uh, 
I've got some phone battery problems. Okay, now, is that still working? Yes, it's still working. Fantastic. Yeah, I think so. I think we're still live. If there's anybody there, can you let me know if this is live? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what's quite happening now. Okay, well, I'll find out. I'm sure I'll find out sooner or later. Right. Okay, let's get on here. Oh, let's get... Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Let's get that gold all nicely spread out. Great. Now, now I'm going to start and bring some slightly longer kind of tails, if you like to call them that. Never quite know what the technical term is for a lot of the things we do here, because I'm not sure that many people are doing them. But we kind of make them up as we go along. Right, so we're just going to gently tease all these together. Interestingly now, because I decided to put the yellow next to the blue, um, we're going to start bringing some green tones now, where they touch and mix with each other. Not a huge amount. And then we're going to gradually work all these out towards this, this end, where it's all going to get a lot lighter. And then there's going to be a twist. Obviously, I can't tell you what that is, otherwise it will spoil it. So I've just got to keep watching and see what happens in this corner. Okay, great, fantastic. So let's bring the gold out. Get this blue dealt with down in the corner. Looking great. There we go, fantastic. Right, just give me a second, guys. Just got to have a quick look, see what's happening over here. Oh, it dropped connection, mate. It's dropped connection. It's gone back to being live again now. Okay. Okay, sorry if you've uh, seen that on Instagram and you saw the connection drop out. I'm very sorry, everybody. Uh, <clears throat> we, are, we are back, though. We are back. Whew. Ah, Kerbo Psychosis, Psychosis has joined us back. Sorry, uh about that and art by uh harla uh, cat machine gems sorry guys yeah we uh we had a bit of a technical issue <laughs> just now but uh, we're resolving it we're resolving it which is great okay right so let's get some fresh gloves on and i think right now is probably a pretty good time just to reset my microphone because my lip sync goes out so aj is just gonna <laughs> yes Hello, hello, look at my lip sync issues. One, two, one, two. One, two. He's pulling it now. Yes, yes, yes. We're back, we're back in the room. Fantastico, whew, right. Okay, we're doing good. Right, okay, let's get this gold moving around. I want to give this a little tickle. And we're just going to tease that around this sort of bend here. <laughs> okay, giving that a little, little fettle into the corner. Happy days, nice. Very nice. That's just to diffuse the purple. I don't know what will happen. The purple will literally be everywhere. Whilst that will please somebody in the room. <laughs> Not all about you. Nice. <laughs> right, okay. So, we're just going to bring the uh, the blue out right to the edge. Obviously, it's very important I do go to the edge. Instagram, and you were there before. I'm terribly sorry. We had a connection issue, and it just dropped the connection for some reason. And I'm really sorry. Yeah, you know, this is the technical stuff where he's <laughs> fighting it all the time. Tech, the tech says, no, you cannot have four high definition cameras, one of which is wireless. I forbid you. And we just go, no, we shall have, we shall do it. Thank you very much. Okay, nice. Well, this is blending together really well, guys. So now I want to get in with some of the, if you can see now, can we go to the overhead, buddy? If you don't mind. Okay, let me talk you through it. So. We're kind of, we're featuring all the colours we've got there, but we're kind of bringing them in a very subtle and kind of different way up through here. Brilliant, fantastic. Now, it's this kind of centre line. So what I've done now, I've got this kind of swoopy little arc. So if you were to draw, maybe from one side to the other, a line, you get this kind of gentle, almost S kind of shape. And this is my centre point. So 
What I need to do above and below this line now is really going to affect what goes on here. But now I'm going to do something else. I'm actually, you would think I would now just carry on where I am, but I'm going to start working from this side and I'm going to go that way. And then hopefully we're going to get this crescendo, a beautiful, almost diluted focal point in the center. And then we're going to go, we're going to go out and we're going to take all those rich tones in the center and we're going to go boom. And we're going to go and express them and light will be where darkness is and on the on the dark there will be light and we're going to mix it all around a bit okay so distinctly different with a completely different feel to the first one even though we're using the same colors the bernie says there's a banana head man in the yellow <laughs> i like your style thank you aid is going to see if he can zoom down on that for you and give you a better shot at it right okay while he does that I am uh, going to just grab another couple of colors, which is looking really nice. Yeah, I'm, can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> he spotted it, Bernie. We're all good, he spotted it. Well done. <laughs> right, so, okay, while he, try and focus, while he tries to focus the camera, he's got it, good stuff. Right, what I also need running around the corner here is, there we are, more of my silver, which I'm going to be using. Let's have a look on the chest cam, actually. So if we look at it, this is probably going to be the base. So let's have a look at that. Now, this has the best colour tones probably out of all of the cameras. Let's see if I can just edge this way and try and show you this gold, the way it's looking in the light. And just get this sliver going down this corner here. Now, we're going to be featuring gold in other places. And this is entirely designed to catch light in areas where the other paints don't. It's what we love about this so, so much, is this gold is literally just epic. So, uh, Insta, we're going to show you a few more photos of that, hopefully. <laughs> uh, hopefully, very soon, anyway. Right, let's just drop you down one more peg on the tripod. You're a bit closer to the action. And now I'm going to be working from the other side, okay? So I need my few other colours over here. Okay, fantastic. Now, whereas you could see on the other one, uh, just over there, that we had kind of black opposing in the corners and working their way in. So we're actually doing a similar thing on this one, but the black is going to be very diluted. So my black is going to sit kind of inside, and it's just going to affect what goes into it, if that makes sense. It won't be the primary colour here. Okay. And I'm going to pop gold in. So Aid is going to, I'm going to try and stay fairly stable. Now, when we do the black and the gold together, my word, I don't need to tell you, do I, what this is going to look like. Here we go. Great spread of number three. One of my favourite colour combinations, just these two together. And we're just going to gently tease this up to the edge. And we're going to get, look at that. We're going to get these, these little kind of rivers of black just poking their head through. Love that. So whilst black can be very final and very intense colour, I often find if you can use it in the right quantities, which I don't always get right, and in the right volumes, and mixed with the right kind of paint, the effects can be utterly beautiful. Now this being the top right hand side of the painting is really going to start and reflect the light as it hits it. So I love that. Now we're going to go into that with a few other lighter colours. Oh, I just put my hand straight into the silver pot. Ow, ow, ow. Just excuse me while I swear inside my head. And we're good. Okay, right. So, two other colours I want are staring me in the face. Yes, there we go. Oh, come to me, Pantone Red. Yes, yes, yes. I get very excited about colours, everyone, as you probably know by now. Colour is just the most amazing thing. Okay. Oh, Denise Weeks, thank you very much. It's very kind of you to say that you're enjoying the colours and the way that they're being blended. And Funny Fox says it's coming up very nicely. Thank you very much to both of you. That's very kind. <laughs> oh, and Nancy Stone, you're too kind, honestly. Or all three of you. Thank you for suggesting that uh, me explaining my methodology is something you can understand. Uh, I always do try and explain things, both on the website and verbally, especially when clients come here. 
but it can be it can be quite a difficult thing just trying to sort of understand the processes and what it takes and actually what goes into the thoughts behind what it is that I do and if you care enough to sit and think or have a listen for a little while to try and get under the skin of each painting I hope it provides some kind of reward or a better knowledge or working sort of practice about my working practices so I really appreciate that feedback thank you guys it's really really good okay so I'm just going to leave my red I'm going to park it to one side because I don't want to feature that too heavily at the moment so here's what we're going to do we're going to we're going to pop in with a line of the and this is just a pure white and I'll just take that inbound just slightly maybe a bit of an arc and this is where I'm going to start featuring some of some other colors in here now I've got to be very very careful with the white because what I don't want to end up with uh, is just a giant sort of diluted mess of whatever I put in there so I've got to be so super careful now so I think what I'm going to do although you won't be able to see this terribly well is I'm going to actually just get this spread so give, almost give myself a mini base coat so let's see if AD can pick that up just about see the white on it I would imagine so we're going to go up to the line now I'm going to start just pulling some of this in. Don't mind if it goes grey, it's fine. Just remember what I said, we're going to be pulling the centre. And the centre is going to sort of start radiate and radiate out through this. So I don't mind if this is quite white for now because a lot of it is going to get covered up. But let's get this all swirled around. It's beautiful. Let's get those. Look at that. Nice. That's gorgeous. Let's get that gold featured in there. That's fun. Nice. There we go. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, it is nice, isn't it? Let's get rid of the stone. I don't know why there's a stone on there. Not a Nancy stone, is it? Ha 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 ha. Right. Okay. Brilliant. Fantastic. So now I'm starting, as you see, I'm starting to develop my band now. And this is the crucial part of the painting. This is where it's won or lost. Obviously, I say won or lost. I mean won, because that's all we ever do here. We are winners. So, okay. Fantastic. Colour's looking good so far. Anybody wants to suggest a colour that I haven't used so far, please feel free to do so. Now I'm just going to drop a few. Purple. Little... Oh. <laughs> oh, you used that. Yeah, I've used purple, mate. Sorry. Purple. So... <laughs> oh, you got that. Now there we go. These are just going to be some highlight features that we're doing. I'll move you around Instagram actually so you guys can see that. Let's pop you around here. Again, if you joined us earlier, my apologies that we went offline. We did have a connection issue. Let's see if I can get you pointing down there before you're all sick. Marvellous. There we go. That's better. Okay. Brilliant. So, so far, we're doing pretty good. Yes, Kali Karashaka. That's exactly what I'm heading for, was the pink. <laughs> you must have read my mind. Good. Right. Okay. So now, this all to me is all about balance. And what I want to try and do now... Is not make this too light or too heavy so i've got to be very very careful now about where i place everything and i think we're going to start off with my fictitious kind of s shape i was talking about we're going to start that here so that should be quite nice through there now these are very small kind of soups ons of color really don't want to overdo but i hope you can see how gorgeous that pink looks just on its own as it is <laughs> yeah nancy i know i wish the green had made it as well that would have been nice wouldn't it never mind so now i want to get some blue back up in this corner what i'm not going to do is feature the blue next to the white because that's going to lighten things too much and it will start messing with the with the white that i've got planned for it so here now i'm just starting to build up this kind of shape in the center i know i might just have to say to you I uh, might, I might have a migraine coming. <laughs> You'll press on. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Okay, I'm going to be very super, super careful on the red. I don't really want at the stage too much. Uh, that's fine. So that's good so far. Now then, uh, my water blue is looking okay, but I want to feature a little drop of it over here on the side. There we go, fabulous. And I've got a 
cream somewhere. So we're going to pull a little bit of that out and I'm going to drop that not, not next to the red. Instead, I'm going to pull that out just about here because when I go in with the purple, that's going to look pretty amazing. And I'm probably going to feature that somewhere else as well. For now, guys, we're really getting into the nitty gritty of it now. I'm going to give my great spreader a little wipe off. Uh, do you want do you want to answer that one, buddy? Hi, Andy. It's Adi. Um, well, all depends, really. If Ed needs perspective on something, uh, we did the other day where I could see from the overhead what Ed can't. So sometimes I'll pop in there with a mask on and we'll discuss possible places that uh, it needs to be balanced and things like that. But uh, most of the time, I leave the maestro to do it himself. <laughs> normally pretty good as long as I feed him a slice of lemon cake and a cup of tea he's normally all right <laughs> nice yeah great question Andy thanks for asking that yeah, that's uh yeah no it is it is a good one and you know it's um with, without getting all righteous um there aren't a lot of people I would trust with, with what he's just said you know but we, we've been working together and known each other for a very long time and if he says dude that's terrible he hasn't got enough black on it you know, I then sit and just think about that. I don't take anything personally because he, he shares the same vision and view that I do, that we want this to be the best it can be. And if he, his opinion is, mate, you know, I don't think that this is right or this is really great, but that sucks, then he's honest and he'll say that, you know, and um, that's what makes what we do so great. You know, we just have to remember that we're, we're, we've got one cause here and that's, you know, to to build something incredible and that's what we're doing one day at a time and we, we do it together and sometimes it's very very hard and quite often it will break us but we do it because we love it and we're good at it <laughs> and uh, that's it but yeah it's a great answer mate I'm sure you uh, echo those sentiments hopefully He's probably out there shaking his head thinking you moron <laughs> no that's exactly it you know <laughs> It has, as it has to be, trying to bring that colour into people's lives and if I can see something you can't, then that's two eyes are better than, two pairs of eyes I should say are better than one. Yeah. Okay, good. Right, so here we go guys, we're sort of gently building this colour up. I can see now from, from the back, this is going pretty well, let's just, uh, now we've got these gorgeous kind of um, green tones going on there, which is nice, kind of feeling fairly organic and almost kind of fresh and dare I say quite fragrant you know if this was a vase of flowers what well, it'd probably be some freesias or something like that maybe it's all nice and fresh now oh that's hand in the white <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> okay right let's go in with the red enough of your talking let's see what we got I'm gonna do it mate let's do it Nice. Smashing. Oh, I've got one yellow dot down in the corner. <laughs> Can you see that right the bottom left-hand corner? Where did that appear from then? That snuck in when I wasn't looking. Okay, brilliante. So here we go, guys. Let's let's get this last bit of the S finished off now. We're going in with our silver. Got to be careful here. This is kind of a bridge point, the silver. Okay, we start slopping it around a little bit. Okay, I know we've got the water blue on the left, which is fine. I need a little, see, it's not a huge amount of dark, it's just a little drop there, look. Just to kind of uh, keep a little bit of gravity in things. And I need another drop of the orange. Can we pick a different one? Let's pick a different one. Hey, this is a brand new tin. I haven't opened it yet. I think it's orange. It could be violet, couldn't it? If the labels are anything to go by. Hmm? I'll be having Could words be tomorrow. <laughs> Could be tuna. <laughs> no! How can that be orange? What's going on? 
Oh, oh yes! My plan worked. <laughs> Should we put on top of that on? I reckon, I reckon there's always room for a drop more purple, mate. Right. I don't know. These are all labelled wrong. I had a paint order not long ago, and it looks like they've utterly made a complete dog's dinner of it. Oh, well. It makes for an exciting viewing, doesn't it? Right, okay. So, the yellow in the corner was looking nice up in the top left. That's the canary yellow dealt with. Beautiful. Actually, it's a really nice yellow. Very fresh. Lemony. Love it. Right, I almost dread to open anything now for fear of what I'm going to find inside. Should we, should we have a look in this one, mate, on chest cam? Literally, I'm just not going to bother looking at what the label says. Oh, look at that. We've already got enough pink. Right, let's not do that then. Best not do that one. Uh, there is my original purple. That's fine. So I'm going to feature just a little bit more of this one. We're going to go in with some little drop more gold. We're going to spread the silver around. And then I'm going to pop my orange in. I was trying to find a new orange, but I don't think we're going to have much success with that. So let's go in with our little baby blue there. I keep glancing at the other one. Make sure that I'm not missing anything, which I'm not at the moment. So happy days. And I've got a slightly darker water blue there. And that, oh, that's it. That's the one I wanted. Together with that, I'll get the shelf. Together with our orange, and then I think we're winning. And I definitely think we're winning here, guys. Okay, brilliant. Yes, can. There we go. Remember to give us a thumbs up, guys, if you're enjoying watching this. Ask as many questions as you can, of course. And make sure you give us a thumbs up. There we go. Brilliant. Fantastic. How are we doing? Excellent. Everybody liking it? Uh, like a beauty mark, says Nancy. Yes, it is. It is. All right. Well, let's get those moved around. I'm going straight in with my orange. Where did that go? Did I throw it in the bin? Billy boy, I'm going to need that, aren't I? All right. Oh, oh, no, my orange is stuck to the... What's going on? The paint demons have taken hold of my studio. Right. Let's get that into there. So we're going to feature a drop more orange. And then I'm going to show you what's going to happen when the canvas is covered. Oh, I hope you're ready for that. Don't go anywhere. I promised you fireworks. I promised you a miracle. Right. Copyright. Mm -hmm. Yes, pretty true. Right, let's get the cream there. Little drop there. A little drop on the corner. Nice little drop there. So here now, we're just all about putting the properties of the colours in. Right, let's get those bad boys moved around. Oh, we're hotting up now, guys. I can feel it. I can feel it. This is going to be epic. Right, why is that? Not got any paint on it. Right, silver. Bit of cream, bit of blue. Let's move you around. Beautiful. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Now, we're gently going to tease the white down a little bit. It's not too thick, but we're getting some interesting swells here. Now, see what happens just with that tiny drop of black. It's just brought that water blue alive. I'm not going to mix this too much. Otherwise, I'm going to start losing some of the things that I've done. Looking very, very cool, that. Get those bits done there. Nice. Now we're getting some real dramatic kind of swirls going here. And of course, now, because I'm working kind of backwards, I'm working from the bottom up. I'm, I'm a little bit in reverse now, <laughs> which is... Uh, quite unusual don't normally do it this way around but now we're going to bring these gentle blues up through the white and then we're going to tease the golds back down again our temperance is the silver and this is our s shape through the middle that i mentioned get that done beautiful look at this now we're moving so uh, henry the artist yeah very good question do i use the color wheel uh, to avoid kind of bad situations when I'm mixing up paints. No, no, never used a colour wheel in my life. I'm aware of them, but no, I just kind of go with what I think looks half decent and what doesn't. Uh, I think for me anyway, it's, no, it's not always a given, but I've kind of done enough practising now to kind of have some idea about the things I certainly like to look at myself and combinations that I do, you know, do tend to work. This doesn't mean to say that we're not always experimenting, because we are. 
which is half the fun really and I think that's a lot of ways in a lot of ways how you learn certainly for me anyway I learn by doing rather than reading about stuff but a very valid question I know the color wheel works for a lot of people I just prefer to get stuck in but thanks for the question Henry the artist that was uh, that's that's great and I appreciate that right okay we've got ourselves a killer whale over here oh yeah Instagram let's turn you around there Look at that, we, we've got a un slightly unexpected focal point. Yeah, but just over there, look. Mm, now that is interesting. We'll give you guys a closer look at that. Right, okay. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do now, because I haven't used any thinners yet. I'm literally going to give it the tiniest of sprays. And I'm going to do this just here, because I want to move this white out just a little bit. And this is the crucial part. Now, I don't know if I can do it. Now, I did say I was going to use the, scra the squeegee. This is where I might have to use the squeegee and just tease it. Okay, let's see if I can do this or not, shall we? Mm. Oh, Devander Studio says, I think he pours the colour wheel directly on the canvas. <laughs> That's what I like. You're right, I think I do. Oh, dear. Dear, what's going on? Right. Nope. Okay, let's abandon that. It's blatantly not going to work. Right. Uh, let's grab my other scraper. Ada's going to give me an overhead full view shot so I can see it on the laptop. Uh, consensus is that this is coming on out, out excellent. We took pics of the work in progress in the gallery. We'll share. Thank you, Jeffrey Jenkins. <laughs> You're very kind. I love the fact that this is like in a video being shared in your art group. I should give you all a massive wave, shouldn't I? I hope you guys and girls are all keeping well. Um, really appreciate you watching, guys. Thank you very much. I'm very uh, flattered by that. Okay, right. We're going to give you a chest cam look shortly, everyone, so you can see what's going on. But I just want to just finish up this white here. I just don't think I can get into it. I just want to see if I can do this without, without causing myself some permanent damage or putting myself in traction for six months. Ah, uh, you see, Doctor, it was like this. Have you seen the live streams? <laughs> mm. The what? <laughs> you know, the live streams. <laughs> what? <sighs> oh, now that's interesting. So, there, look, I've just given it a little flick down. Yeah, now this is interesting now. I'm loving the way this is going. I need to just, just, I've got slightly too much of a line here. So while we're on the overhead, let's let's see what we can what can delineate this line a little bit. Let's just bring this out because the ratio not I mean it's fine, it's okay, but it's not how I want it. Uh, now the Rita, have I used a brush yet? <laughs> no. It's still behind me, lurking in the background. Shall be mine. Say it again, buddy. Oh, Devanda Studios can see a, a can of a very uh, popular energy drink. Yes, I see what you mean. Whose name I cannot mention for legal reasons. Right, sorry, Instagram, you've got to stare at my backside for a second. Humble apologies. Let's just, I'm going to leave the killer whale in there, but I just need to tease a little drop of this out. I've killed its flippers. Heidi <laughs> says I've killed its flippers. <laughs> oh, I love this job, I tell you. Right, okay. Okay, let's have a quick recap. We've got a killer whale. We've got a beauty spot. We've got all the colours of the rainbow. We've understood a little bit more about how this kind of thing works. I've got one or two tiny gaps here and there. Oh, it's, it's, it's so close, isn't it? It's so close. It's close, everyone. Mm, ocean Drive, yeah. AD says this is Ocean Drive. It is, man. That's like it's it's fresh. Yeah, I like it. It's alive. It's fresh. It's happening. Look at that. What a colourful expression. So beautiful. Yeah, I love that. Orange is good in the top. And there, I've still got my brush here. Right, the Rita. Are you looking? This is just for you. There we go, look. There you go. I use my brush. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, I do tell a lie. Let's use this down here. 
I'm, I'm still here, by the way, everyone on Instagram. Thank you for watching. Okay, actually, I'll just quickly tidy the edges up. Right. You know what? I got a feeling we're done. Got a feeling we're done. One, two, three. How many colours? 10, 12? Wow. Woo! Let's do, I tell you what, let's get the gloves off. Actually, just before I give you a close-up on the chest cam, guys, remember, 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 this is fabulous what you're seeing here, but if you want to see absolutely everything before anybody else will get to see it, remember, you can go on to Suarez, on to patreon.com. Yes, you can. Let's go to corner cam. I know we haven't got the button, but guys, do remember, we're still giving the calendars away. If you become a patron, we've got a couple of different tiers for you to look at. We would normally put the graphic on the screen, but we, <laughs> we can't find it. But don't worry. The link is down in the description below, underneath the video. We've got lots of exclusive things and content that's just for our patrons. If you're a patron and you're watching, and I know a few of you are, you know that you get everything before everybody else. So please do go check that out. See what we've got available. And it's patreon.com forward slash slash Suarez Art. The link is down below, guys. Go check it out. Right, and it's, oh, I've stood on my scraper. That's why I nearly fell over. Woo! Right, uh, yes, yeah, so we're on chess game. Oh, yes, talking of calendars, look, I keep walking past it. So we've still got some available guys, and these are exclusive to our patrons. So go and have a look by all these are These are, well, they are just amazing. Come on, those of you who've got them, you know, don't you? Fabulous. 100 worldwide. We've got just a few left. Right, okay then, so let's have a look on chess cam then, buddy. There's our killer whale. There he is, look, star of the show, leaping out of the oceans. But actually, in all seriousness, I hope you can start to pick up on just some of the textures here. What we've got, especially on the gold, which we know is pretty incredible. It's, it's just, it's very hard to describe these unless you're sat in front of them. We had that. Uh, with a client, well, with all clients, but particularly one uh, just this week. And he said, you've really got to be stood in front of it uh, to really appreciate it. Photos and videos, they can't do them justice. And he's absolutely right. Uh, you know, we, we are really blessed. We get to see these every single day. And they are just something incredible. When you can sit and look at textures and the way the light bounces off it, they are absolutely phenomenal. And of course, a lot of that is down to the way that we put the paint on and also the paints themselves. But I hope we can give you some idea here tonight, and as we do every week, about how these actually look like in the flesh. We really try so hard with these cameras, and especially this one on chest cam, to try and give you a first person view of the incredible layers and textures and finishes uh, that we create here. I'm always absolutely blown away when things go right. You know, and this is a very right tonight. I'm so, so super happy with these. They really have come out well. And actually, where we've blended and gone over tones, small little variations that are just starting to poke through look fantastic. Yeah, so I'm super, super happy with that. I think that's just turned out great. What do we think, everyone? Instagram art by Hala. All the colors are blending nicely together. Well done. Thank you so much, Shubart. Art of Gregory Evans. Did I miss the whole thing? Yes. But do not worry, friends of Instagram and of YouTube, don't forget, as soon as we finish the broadcast, you'll be able to watch the whole thing all over again. Aren't you lucky? Look, we are the gift that keeps on giving. Fantastic. Right, so there's one thing left to do, guys. Yeah, we got the weekly painting. We got the helix. Look at this bad boy behind me. Oh, yes, here we go. I've just got enough gloves left. We've got who's going to be the first person to shout a colour out. That's the colour we're going to put on it. Right, A's going to keep an eye on the streams. Who's the first person with a colour that's not purple? <laughs> and let's have a look at that. Insta, let's turn you guys over. Right, what are we going to put on there then, buddy? What have we got coming through? Has anybody suggested a colour? Michael Squire is the first one. He says, green, fantastic. Oh, Zane, please want Suarez blue. You almost, you just had a time there, Zane. Could have been a bit quicker. Right, got to stick with the rules. Michael Squire, you got it. 
Uh, let's do that. Green, right. So, we've got a couple of greens on there already. So I think what we should do is probably do quite a vivid green. And I've got just the fella here. Right, let's give that cam... The can? Sorry, the camera. Let's give the can a shake. Not the camera a shake. That would be wrong, wouldn't it? And let's get the lid off. Ooh, nice. Let's get that dispensed. Look at that, Michael. Look at that for a colour. Very nice. Let's get some more of that in. Interestingly, we didn't have to use any on this one tonight because we've done, we've created green in other ways, haven't we? Just a little soups on through the middle in our little foray into tropical wilderness and oceans and things like that. Gorgeous. Right then, Michael, here we go. Are we on chess can, are we, dude? Right. Michael Squire, this is, look, this is the power of the internet. You're controlling what goes on. How brilliant is that? Now, I think tonight I'm going to go the opposite way around. I'm going to start from the other side. So, sorry, staring at the floor for a second. Right, let's get this on. Let's continue our helix. Because it seems to be a kind of a nice shape that we're doing, doesn't it? So, let's see. Which way am I going to go? I need to come this way. Oh, maybe I'll, I'll just, oh, maybe I'll do that then. No, that feels wrong. I'll get there in a minute. Don't go away. Uh, right, so that's going that way, and that one that way. No, let's do it this way. Here we go. Green, this is tonight's colour. Let's go round the outside and back again. Over the top. Nice. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, I'm so tempted to put some of this on. No, Ed, leave it. You're doing great. No, God! <laughs> go, go, go. No, God, please, no! 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 Thanks, mate. You got my cue. <laughs> okay, right. Wow. Let's. There we go. Look at that. Friends of Instagram. There we go. Let's see if I can give you a little bit of a look over that. Hopefully, you're getting a look on the overhead. Now, if you're watching on YouTube, the colours are extraordinary and the textures look even better. Super, super happy with our foray into coastal waters and tropical sunshine. Beautiful. Oh, right, let's have one look, look, look at, last look at your comments. Uh, it's, uh, what have we got? Nana, bye everyone, awesome paintings. Thank you, Nana. Uh, I think Devando meant to say good. <laughs> but Rita loves the green, which is great. Or is it meant to say gold, is it? Yeah, okay. A fine green colour pour, Ed says Michael. Well done. Right, well, that's it for the live stream for this Wednesday, everybody. Thank you so much on behalf of us both for tuning in and enjoying 67 minutes of Suarez awesomeness this evening. Haven't we done well? We're so, so sorry that we were 10 minutes late and for the gremlins, but we had to fix issues with the cables. Thankfully, it gave you some good pictures on the chess cam, so hopefully it was worth the wait. Fantastic. Guess what? Instagram, YouTube, the world. We are going to be here same time same place next week and we're going to do it all over again and i've got something extremely interesting for you next week so that's definitely one you do not want to miss now before you go we popped a video out earlier on in the week we don't want you to miss that because it's epic some of you might recognize the painting we're just going to run a little trailer for you right now check this out Well, how amazing is that? Do you know what we did, guys? We've condensed two weeks' worth of painting that in two live streams into just a few minutes. And there you can see and watch that amazing painting being created. We popped that video out just a few days ago. Go check it out underneath where you're looking at now. Just look for my face. Go click on it, and it's top of the channel. You can't miss it. We'd love you to go and watch it and leave your comments. But we just wanted to put all those bits and pieces together so you could see how that amazing painting was created. Go enjoy it. Go check it out. Okay, brilliant. Fantastic, guys. So, Heidi, anything you want to say before we sign off? No, just thanks again. Like I said, uh, I put a little message out at the beginning. We do appreciate all of your input and everything else with what we do. Um, 
you are appreciated and we love our community and we love you guys for being here and, and, and watching with us. So we'll say thanks again and uh, we'll see you and we'll do it all over again next week. Fantastic. Yes, thank you very much, AD. That's very good. Uh, just to answer the reader, will we be bringing the barrel back? <sighs> You'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> so, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure. Remember to give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this this evening. We can't wait to do it all over again for you in seven days' time. On behalf of Aidy and myself, can we wish you a, a very good week, wherever you are, whoever you're with, and whatever you're doing, please stay safe. And we look forward to welcoming you back here in a week's time from uh, Suarez HQ. We are officially out of here. Good evening. <laughs>